Hey, what's up? This is Seaheen Cuddle, and for this video, we're going to be working on the flower for the double broadswords. So, um, this is just the downward flower. We can talk about the upward flower a little bit later, but we're going to get into this. So, let's get to work. Okay, so very first off, I'm not even going to use the blades. We're just going to work with bringing our hands over our hand. So, for this, I want you to think of we're just moving our hand up and over the top. My right hand comes up and over, my left hand comes up and over, my right hand comes up and over, my left hand comes up and over. Okay, so very simple for your first step. Another way that we can do this is using the palms to kind of set us up for it. We don't need the blades in our hands. What we're going to do is cross the elbows. So go ahead and take your left hand, cross it over your right, and we're just going to change that position. Change the position. So as you circle around, your right arm's gonna come over the top. As you circle around, your left arm's gonna come over the top. Okay, so we go back and forth, back and forth. For this next one, what we're going to do is the same palm changes, but we're gonna turn the body with it. So as I come over and I trap the right arm over the left, I turn to my left. Now I'm gonna bring it down, trap, turn to my right, over, trap, turn to my left, over, trap, turn to my right. Now as I get more comfortable with this, I'm going to just make sure that it traps as I come over to the side. Next, we can actually add the blades to this pattern. So now, I can bring my hands over and trap, over, trap the elbows, over, trap the elbows, over, trap the elbows. So now to break it down, let's isolate only one hand. So if I have my left hand down and I take my right hand, I'm gonna slice down and over, okay? Again, slice down and over, making this figure eight across the body, okay? So I'm slicing down diagonally one way, flip the blade over, slice down diagonally the opposite way. So one, two, okay? Then you can switch hands to the exact same thing. One, two. Now let's, now let's split it up into cuts. As you do this, you're actually doing three cuts down. As I mentioned before, you need to keep the blade pointing forward because you're making yourself that windmill of death, <laughs> okay? So as I do my arm traps, let's count the cuts itself. So as I come over, I'm going to cut once, twice, and then that third time. Now, that was a little bit choppy because I brought my hand straight back, but you would circle that hand, okay? So again, we're gonna go once, twice, circling under, third time. One, two, three. As you get used to this, you can speed it up. The key to speeding it up is relaxing the wrists, using the elbows and the shoulders. This will make you move a lot faster. One of the key things also is your grip. If you grip too hard and keep that blade at a 90 degrees, it's very stiff and very tough to move around. You can still do it, but it's very sluggish. If you relax a little bit on your last two fingers, the ring finger and the pinky, you have a lot more chance of letting the blade flower out a little bit more to go for a little more speed. All right, so there you go. A couple ways, the different perspectives of looking at the training for this. When you get it down, you have to practice it a lot so you can move faster, let the body be more flexible because it's doing something it's not used to doing. So more practice will make a more fluid double flower. Until next time, this is Seeking Cuddle. Bam! Fist with the faux hawk.